So we are used to have that we have things hooked up on Facebook, yeah. Instagram, Twitter. Getting it out there. Live streaming all over the place. This is yeah. episode 10, baby. Episode 10, getting into the double digits, making moves. We're in a new a new venue. This time, as you can yeah. see, we're over at the, the Offy household this time. Decided to change it up a little bit. We're, my hat's backwards, isn't it? Yeah. Why is my hat backwards? I, hey, I never wear my hat backwards. Whatever runs for you, baby. Whatever <laughs> so it works. There we go. When did that happen? Yeah, and we we're we're kind of celebrating since it's Saturday. It's the day after April twentieth, commonly known as four twenty. Big weed day. It's true. So I mean, we always smoke weed during the podcast. What do you and, have special uh, for today, though? Oh, a Jeffrey. But today is special. Shout out to Northwest Pearl. Follow them on Instagram, so we'll tag them later. This is a Jeffrey. Stroke the furry wall when you get the chance. Stroke the furry wall. It's worth a little bit of weed with some oh, with the on the outside and uh, the keef. We'll talk about, we're obviously going to talk about weed on today's show. A little bit different well, there's ways some, that people consume it. And was yeah. a new legislation that was announced that's going to come. Oh, yeah. And there's so, actually news. I'm so excited about yeah, it. Lots I of think stuff. I think i to get closer. We'll talk a little bit about uh, why there were how... It got to its legal status, like as it is right now. Mm -hmm. Not recording. There we go. Now we're recording on the computer again. <laughs> so, so the recorder, the the TV, uh, this the computer, this fucking device right here. Indeed. Now uh, that pre-show is going to be a little bit shorter than this one. So. Oh, that's right. I don't think I haven't really been keeping all the uh, the audio for the pre-show. Yes. Um, just because I don't know. It's kind of nice to have like. A video exclusive to be like, hey, if you want to watch the pre-show and you're not doing it right now, you can find it on our YouTube channel, Salt YouTube. of the Streets. Always YouTube. Yeah, the last, I think we have three pre-shows up there now, right? Yeah. And so, and, uh, like we talked about, we're going to do the pre-shows always, we're going to record, and then we're going to start doing progressively more and more and more of the show, and eventually all two and a half, three hours of it, you know, the full length of the episode will be up there, pre-show, yeah. a different episode, and... You know, whatever. That's something that we I've heard a lot about. People want video content. Yeah, me too. Especially yeah, a little a lot of people. people who don't really know what a podcast is, they would rather watch yeah. it than. I've been surprised how many young people I've had to explain like what podcasts are. <laughs> I've, I've been personally installing it on people's computers, like yeah. if they have an Android, trying to find Podcast Addict or something, or even just SoundCloud. Right. Because SoundCloud is kind of our base. You know, it's definitely our base. Which, by the way, four hundred plus. Listens on SoundCloud. Now. Yes, we did. That was we, so, we surpassed it. That was nice. Yeah, we were waiting for that. That was, yeah, that was so cool. We got some more, um, some more follows and likes and stuff like that. that and came now around. we have a question coming from Carolina over there. What's yes. this? Over here, Ezekiel. Uh, Zeke. Zeke, yeah. what's up, baby? He he's asking the legislation you guys mentioned for weed. Is this for just Washington? State? No, it's it's federal. federal. We'll talk about that more in the podcast, but. The day before 420 on the Thursday, Zeke, Chuck Schumer announced that he was going to put forward legislation to, to decriminalize cannabis nationwide, federally. Yeah. Um, and on which top is, of that. Yes, which is awesome. Yeah. Um. <laughs> and then on top of that, you had uh, even Mitch McConnell, who is on the opposite side of the political spectrum, but yeah. there's equal levels with... Majority Chuck leader in the Senate. Yeah. yeah. He's actually, I guess, pushing legislation to decriminalize hemp. Word. And I was like, wow, that's a big deal. He's it's come from a turtle made himself. That shit, Hell yeah, there's tons of money. Money to be made. Yes, so Zeke, yeah. is, like I said, we'll talk about that a little bit more in the pod, but um, it is it is federal legislation that was passed to decriminalize yeah. it. So that Really, really exciting it. news. Hopefully. But presumably take it off of Schedule 1 so that it can start to be researched medically, and then yeah. we can really start to make things happen. Um, I watched, he did an exclusive Vice News interview. Yeah, um, I, just, so I was reading about it. I haven't I, seen it yet. Oh, I watched it this morning. Um, and he said that they weren't going to focus on criminal reform in this bill because he felt like those were two different things. And mm -hmm. Dick Durbin and Cory Booker, two other senators, are are doing that. So yeah. he's going to let them in on that. They just want to worry about decriminalization. He said that he had, looks at it like a science experiment, right? And we have some other states... Colorado, Washington, things like that, that have legalized it, and they see that crime didn't go up, you know, there aren't more youth that are using it, more youth isn't on drugs, and all the fucking money that people are making, they can see that it benefits the country. 
And that's what he said, is we can yeah. see the science experiment works, so let's implement it nationwide. You almost you can't know? say no anymore. Right, and he's not, it's not going to make it mandatory for all states. He said that the goal is to let, let every state decide what they want to do, you yeah. know, but give them the opportunity to make it legal if they want, you know? Yeah. And we'll get more into that later. Wow, I just he, totally hit the table. <laughs> he but, answered uh, back, uh, yeah. dope, sorry I'm listening to you guys while well, I'm working out. Get it, man. Yeah. Man, that's what it's about. Listen to it whenever you can. I'm happy that you're tuning in, dog. I that's talk so about cool. you all the time. This has got to be the third, fourth episode that we fucking talked about. You know what I mean? That's it's like that shit. the number one on the listeners always in SoundCloud. Yeah. So big shout out to Zig. And I Morgan, can't wait to meet you one day. Morgan uh, over on Facebook says, loving the setup. Good. 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 Cool. This, yeah. Awesome. This is, this kind is of all off the made right here. It's kind of like a new thing where, you know, we're experimenting. All this... All this stuff is new to us, and especially the video stuff. And so we're just kind of playing around with it. This time we're over at my place. Yeah. Um, for uh, specific reasons, mostly because I have a I have a little dog that I need to try to get way out of town today. So all good reasons. So making double trips. Yeah. Plus it's kind of fun to you know you guys haven't been over here before. Right. It's great to have you know some friends over and show you what's up and. You know, there's all sorts of potential everywhere for all sorts of stuff, and yeah. So yeah, thanks for the uh, for the love on the little my little set that I designed. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> digging. I like, like it a lot. I like the the Seahawks, very important. And then yes. the Sounders are very important to me. Very. And then, of course, America. 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 Yeah, and, uh, for uh, out of respect for Joe Rogan, on that baby. I got the Himalayan. Salt lamp there. She every time she sees a little, she's like, "I want one so bad." Like, <laughs> I know, I know you do. Yeah, when's when's your birthday, Jordan? February. February. We yes. already passed it. Yeah. If you want to celebrate my half birthday? Feel free. Okay, <laughs> got it. You can always do that. We'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. No, I I love them now. Mm -hmm. So, what are I you guys drinking today? Colin poured mine for me. I don't know what type of beer. What did you? Yeah, tell you, this you was? are drinking a. Uh, this one's Collins. Gig Harbor's own. Uh, oh my gosh, what's the can? I forget the name of the the brewery now. I hate myself. It's one of my favorites. Thank you, baby. Um, oh, it's got the compass. Uh, see, balls deep, double IPA. This was seven C's. Seven C's. Right there. Duh. I don't know if you can see that. It's yeah. Seven C's. Yeah, it's a double IPA. It's, it's hard to read in real life. It's so. absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Yeah, and then Colin has the. Uh, the Dragon's Tooth Stout there from Elysian. That's one of our favorite brewers. Drink a lot of Elysian beer yeah. over here. It's all to the streets. Elysian beer is really good. <laughs> they don't make much that I don't like. This is a Super Fuzz is that you were drinking last week. Yeah, Elysian. Super Fuzz. Um, yeah. They have the Men's Room, that Red Ale. That one's really good. They do do Men's Room. Men's Room Red. Now, do you know why it's called Men's Room? No. So, Men's Room Red is based off... So, this is great yes. pre-show content. Um, the Men's Room Red is, is was made in contribution with the radio station 99.9, .9, their afternoon show. It's yes, called the Men's, the men's room. room. Yes. Yeah, and that's... They, that is delicious. Oh yeah, it's God. like every percentage, they work with them on this one beer trying to develop it. Oh. And then um, every every sale that they have of Men's Room Red, whether it's at Costco or grocery store or whatever, percentage of it goes to the Fisher House. And so they save up all year round. And then they have a big blowout party once a year, and they they send over this giant check to the Fisher House, which is excuse me, <laughs> <laughs> it's a dip pouch. But uh, yeah, it's a big. Uh, they help a lot of families, uh, mostly like military families and stuff mm -hmm. that are in need, or if uh, you know if somebody's got uh, if you're laid up in the hospital somewhere, um, and you're not doing so hot, and yeah. your family needs to come up, but they don't have a place to stay. Can work with the Fisher House and they help them, you know, give them places to stay. Oh, sorry about that. No, you're good, bro. I didn't even notice. But yeah, really, really good charity. But yeah, every time you get a bottle of Men's Room Red, you're doing good for a lot of people. It's pretty cool. So that's, that's the story nice. behind Men's Room Red. That's cool. This There's probably is, a lot missing there, but <laughs> this is sweet, like a fucking peach ring on the end. Yeah. Um, like when after like the aftertaste is sweet, like a peach ring. That is wild as shit. Yeah, it's the type of hops they use, I think. That's delicious. It's it's one of my favorite. I love Seven Seas. Seven Seas makes a lot of really good fucking beer. They make the the best black IPA. I think they call it the Cascadian Dark Ale now. It's in Gig but, Harbor, right? Yeah. Seven Seas. Gig Harbor. Shout out Seven Seas Brewery. Yeah, that place is amazing. Ooh, Life Jacket's another big one they have. It's a, it's a Sessions. Um, 
IPA, so mm -hmm. it's kind of low in content or alcohol content. Yeah. It's really good. They have a good amber too, though. They have a cuts amber. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Yeah, they don't make bad beer. Mm -mm. It's just kind of like pick your poison. It's like uh, we're spoiled around here, like the seafood. You know, like it's really hard to go somewhere yeah. and get like shitty fish and chips. Like really anywhere you yeah. go around here, it's, you got to be using frozen fish to be making shitty fish and chips around here. Yeah, which is yeah, blasting me out here. Can't it's do disgusting. that. Disgusting. Cannot do that. Um. Oh shoot! I was just gonna say, how long did does it say how long we've been doing the pre-show? Like ten minutes, probably. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure We're I keep like track of time here. And okay. We only recorded for about a minute before work, so work probably close to ten minutes. Okay. Just want to. I just want to try to be better at keeping track of time during this stuff. But uh, you should get the clock. I got one back here. It was just too big to put. <laughs> I was like, damn it. <laughs> Well, so we got we got computers with clocks right in front of us. Yeah, I just gotta pay attention. That and fucking phones and uh -huh. don't have our phones in front of us immediately because this my phone is yeah. going to Twitter, Colin's phone is going to Instagram, and we have that third ghost phone, that's the ghost phone. Facebook. So yeah, yeah, it's my old phone. That I actually didn't fucking break this time, so we got to keep it when I got a new phone. Yeah, um, and so that's what that one is. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I when I got my new phone. That was something I didn't really realize was like a thing. Uh, that like I had already paid for it, so it was a, it was mine. I didn't have to turn it in. Yeah, I could keep it, but it was broken. But even when it was broken, they still buy it from me at a certain discounted rate. Well, they're like machines and stuff too, and like companies that you can sell your old phones to. There's a machine yeah. in the mall that you can go and like put your phones into. And yeah, that's right. Cash. That's right. I forgot about that. I never go to the mall here, like ever. I can hear the oil burning. Like, it's way different. <laughs> <laughs> does uh, do one of the the fine wives? Would they like to have a little bit of the Jeffrey? Do you want some more? Should I have been passing it to her on the phone? Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, yeah. She's probably yeah. okay. Work. I just yeah. No, I, I take it from you. I want to be a good host, her. you know. <laughs> no, she's involved. I brought some more, some bud too, and that fucking. I figured because of the four twenty show, I might roll a joint while we're recording. Um, yeah. Just as we're talking, just as like a little treat. No one will know about it, but we will. we'll talk about we'll it. We'll talk about it. No, but yeah. Um, yeah. So I brought that. So some, some cares. One of the things I was thinking we should do during the pre-show. It's kind of like we just got so stoked. Yeah. Yeah. Just like <laughs> just a wave. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. But I was thinking, let's uh, because we don't have that many topics between mm -hmm. the two of us. So I was just gonna say the few that I was looking at, and then. Just not get into them. Yes. Just say what they are. Just touch on them. So it's like a yeah pre-show only, exclusive content. You know what the episode's going to be about. When we're going to start doing, we've talked about another fucking exclusive. We're going to start, we talked about starting from the list on the wall so that people know when we start recording and shit that we're definitely oh, going to talk yeah. about that day. Like we'll have like four or five things on there that we'll make sure, you know, that we touch on and we can cross them off. So... Yeah, you know, I forgot about that. So you can look at it in the beginning of the episode and be like, I don't give a fuck about any of this stuff, or oh my god, I can't wait to get to that middle part, you know, try and yeah. That room. And one day, user friendly. When I get good at uh, video editing, I'll take that and then I'll put like a timestamp at <laughs> where we start talking about that, so you can jump to. That'd be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that involves a lot of work on my end. I'll have to put figure it out in the description below. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But so, what do you what do you got to talk about? Uh, we're gonna talk about Comey, right? Where um, his book? Yeah, all that um, stuff. I got some stuff about fucking Saints cheerleader that we're gonna talk mm -hmm. about a little bit. Uh, ben, Shapiro, ben Shapiro said some shit that I thought was really sexist, which like really caught me off guard. I don't yeah. I don't generally find myself thinking like, well, that's like a really sexist comment. But when I heard it, I was like, that's like, yeah, that's probably pretty blatantly sexist. <laughs> um, I'd have to go back. Let's do yeah. it. Well, so we'll talk about it. Um, and then Comey, fucking that stuff. We're going to talk about yeah. weed in the beginning. Uh, okay, 420 yeah. yesterday. So like a little bit, a little bit on the legislation, a little bit on how it, how it became to be legal now and mm -hmm. kind of the different ways that people consume it. Yeah. Um, what do you have there? Starbucks? Want to talk about the Starbucks guys? Maybe a little we bit? Could. We could. We probably mean, should. Could, yeah, we could bring it up. But I mean, I don't know. From what I've heard, so there's just a lot of... He said, she said, and John well, our opinions stuff. on it, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, I got uh, some North Korea stuff. 
Yes, because there's been some big moves there. Um, what was this? Oh, the NPR. That's just a, that'll be for Chuck Schumer and the, his bill. Yeah. And then Judge Gorsuch is in the news. Actually, it's the Supreme Court itself. Neil Gorsuch. Uh, yeah, they, uh, there was a vote on a, what was it? Oh, come on. And he leaned with uh, more of the liberal judges, right? Yeah. He basically erred on the side of the, of the, the law is written so vaguely that he doesn't think it should be, you know, you can't hold anything to it. Yeah. It's so vague. But I think it's supposed to be about the deportation of illegal immigrants if they commit a violent act mm. or, or by violent crime. But that's the problem is the wording is, is kind of weird. And so, yeah, he, in a surprise thing, he's, you know, in a surprise thing, he, he uh, threw a surprise vote and they ended up uh, getting it. I'm fine with that. I'm happy to hear that because when he, <clears throat> excuse me, when he first got on there, it seemed like he was way more conservative than he had led on to be during his confirmation. Uh, yeah. So that's we'll see. interesting. You know. yeah. But yeah, that, uh, and then just uh, two little pieces of, uh, oh, well, there was another school walkout. I don't know oh, if I, that's like my... Years, 19 years on, from Columbine. Yeah, but that's kind of in my back. Back in my mind. Then I had actually two pieces of uh, pop culture news. I have some pop culture stuff too. You got one, anything about Avicii? No. Oh, Written down my phone. Okay. I got yeah, something Avicii. about that I read last night while I was watching Tusk about a girl that used to be on Smallville. Um, yeah, and the sex ring. And yes. That, yeah. What the fuck? That's crazy. About that. Isn't that fucking crazy? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Little <laughs> Chloe from Smallville. I was like, Whoa, how the fuck does that happen? I know. <laughs> Crazy dude, like they're pretending to be like a women's rights group and yeah. like advocates for women, and they're actually like a sex slave cult. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's super weird. That's <laughs> yeah, that blew my mind. That's crazy. And they yeah. started like the New York Times started reporting on that shit in October of last year. Like they've been talking about this group for a while now. Yeah, that's that's crazy. Man. That's nuts. Word. So that's what we got going on. Episode number 10. Some sports and stuff. Yeah, yeah sports and stuff will be there and we'll be good. That's it. So that's the breakdown for this week. I like it. Yeah. So, so I think we're going to yeah. do our silence. Do you have anything else that you want to say? No. No? no. I'm good. That's it. Okay. Cool. So so uh, like last week, we'll do our fucking, I don't even know if that was in the video. The countdown. Time. Yeah. 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 Uh, we do the, the three, three second, second countdown, countdown to the five second silence. Yeah. Um, I feel like I want to say that every episode, <clears throat> just because it's fun. Yeah, well, and it's like I especially like explaining it to people because they're almost always confused. Yeah, um, <laughs> and I think that's funny. <laughs> so, that's so good. Yeah, word. Yeah, so count um, yeah, with that, I'll do yeah, I'll do the count. So I'm gonna go uh, three, two, one. And we're back. Salt of the street podcast. That's it. This is episode 10. It's 